the pigs, the, the wild boars are still around. Winging it, that's the plan, the right? We always totally do. winging it. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Good morning. We are not in Canada anymore. No, no we're sure not. Hi. We're also not in Lima either. <laughs> yes, we've left Peru. So we are in Argentina. We sure are. Hello from Argentina. In one of the earlier videos, we asked you guys to guess where we were moving, and well, the answer is Argentina. We are currently in the province of Cordoba up in the Sierras, in the little village where I grew up. And we have some exciting plans here. Yeah, there's a fun family project that's gonna be taking place yes. here over the next, over the coming years. Yes. Yeah, yeah, so I'll let you talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't think that's a story we can tell in one video, um, but to give you the gist of it, there's this property that's been in my dad's side of the family for three generations now and it's a place that my parents used to run as a hotel together with my aunt and uncle for a few years back in the 90s so yeah we've been talking about kind of doing something with that place because it's just been sitting there and we're super passionate about tourism and travel yeah. and nature and quiet towns yeah we're we're actually both from really small places we grew yeah. up in nature and so I would say for a good part of our 20s and maybe into even into our 30s, we were really excited by being in big cities, mm -hmm. not only just traveling, but also sometimes living in, yeah. in cities. But it's kind of come full circle. We're, we're craving to be back out in nature. Yes. And this, this property that, that we're going to be try, attempting to renovate, which has a, a hotel and a couple of, of houses that, have, uh, that are in, in, in... Well, they're in rough shape, let's be serious. Yes. So it is going to be the most challenging thing we have ever undertaken in our whole lives yes. without a doubt <laughs> without a doubt but with that comes a level of excitement mm -hmm. because we think that the potential of this place is just enormous this area is incredible mm -hmm. you have world-class scenery you have world-class mountains you have the tranquility of being out in nature and we feel like we can take something that is you know close to being in it's not quite ruins but it's in rough shape it hasn't been looked after properly in mm -hmm. over 20 years we're hoping we can take something like that that's also been a part of your family's history going back now this is a, th a three generation yeah, a yeah three generation property we're hoping that we can continue that legacy mm -hmm. by uh by trying to reclaim its former glory yes yeah. And I think I'm also super excited about community because we've created this community on YouTube and we'd love to have a place where people can come and spend time out in nature. And like this place really is so healing being here in the Sierras and the mountains. Like we went for our first little walk yesterday down a dirt road and we yeah. were just taking in these oh. deep, fresh breaths of air and it feels like it's filling every last part of your lung. Like you just want to keep breathing deeper and deeper yeah, in the mountains. Yeah, it's just like you're you're craving to breathe yeah. in this air. There's just something about it. I, yeah. it you can't really you can't really explain it mm -hmm. in, a, in a way better than just what you described. Like, yeah. it's just so refreshing. And we're just really excited to have a place where we can invite people to come experience this along with us. And I think it'll be a cool journey to take you on as well, kind of from ruins to to what it can be to its full potential so i mean this is a story that we're going to be developing over the course of the months and the yeah. years there's going to be more information more videos coming soon but for now this is our first full day up here we are renting a cute little house in the mountains um it is autumn yeah. we're surrounded by beautiful colors i just had the best sleep of my life last night I think it's a Amazing. it's a combination of we we had zero sleep the day before, yeah, and then just having a, a nice firm mattress, the, mm. only the sounds of nature. So. And woke up to chirping birds, so yeah. it's been good. We're super excited. In today's video, we're just gonna bring you along for our first day here, show you 
little bits and pieces of our new life in the mountains. Exactly. So, I mean, our long-term plans is that we're going to be splitting time between Argentina and Canada. Yeah, and yeah. And so we're, we're going to be, especially over the next few years, we're going to mm -hmm. be spending significant time in Argentina trying to get this off, off of the ground. Yeah. And um, it's a project that we're, we're excited about. We were planning to start it two years ago before the pandemic hit. Oh. <laughs> and uh, so this has been put on hold for two years. Yes. And um, it's just so exciting to finally be able to pursue it. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to just go in with the best attitude, mm -hmm. uh, the best effort. It's mm -hmm. going to be challenging. When you see uh, the condition of the place, like when we show it to you, I mean, your, some of your jaws may drop, <laughs> but, <laughs> but that's part of the journey, right? Yeah. It's, uh, it's something that, that is meant to be challenging, meant to mm -hmm. be exciting. And um, we're really excited to show you uh, what we get up to with, with this particular project here yes. in the Sierras of Cordoba, Argentina. Yeah, so that's so. a little taste of what's to come. Indeed. Okay, so my task this morning is to finish unpacking. We've been living out of a suitcase for three weeks while we were in Peru. And since we're kind of settling into this little cottage for a bit longer, we want to make it feel more homey, more organized, not just a mess in our suitcases. So yeah, I'm going to be unpacking everything, tidying up, organizing, making everything easy to find and making this place feel more like a home. Here we have it. This is Sam's side of the closet. Three shelves, all to himself. We really didn't pack a lot for this trip, so three shelves is all we need per person. Just the basics. So this is where I'm hanging our coats, uh, rain jackets, and then just a couple of dressier shirts and dressier pants, just so they don't get wrinkled. And now here is my part of the closet, another three shelves and we're keeping our 
dirty laundry down at the bottom in a little plastic bag until we figure out until we figure out where and how we're going to do our laundry because we do not have a washing machine but we do have a drying rack so either by hand or find a laundry service in the village we'll see milanesa for lunch see sí. yeah we're having milanesas for lunch excited we're heating them up because they were, with, with, they're pre-cooked, which is cool. And I tried one yesterday, cold for the first time. It was just like, okay. It tastes so much better when it's heated up. This is gonna melt the cheese. This is gonna make the, the, the rest of the meat a little warmer. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm happy we're doing it like this. A little olive oil in the pan. I mean, I'm not sure if this is how you do it, but <laughs> we don't have a microwave. So this is how we're doing it. Lunchtime. See, it's lunchtime. Yes. So, can I interest you in some wine? Yes. <laughs> Almamora <laughs> from the Finca Las Moras, one mm, of our uh, favorite bodegas. This is a, know reserve, that one well. a select reserve Malbec. Yeah. So, I just prepared a simple salad lettuce, tomatoes, cucumbers, some avocado, olive oil, and lemon juice, and then the pre made milanesas like Argentine schnitzels yeah. um, that we got yesterday at the market. Yeah, they heated up nicely, the cheese has melted a bit, mm -hmm. so it tasted a million, a million times better than, than when I had it cold. So, so cheers! Cheers to our first lunch! First lunch here! Together! Ta-da! Yeah, I should mention yesterday when we were driving up here in the afternoon, we were snacking on empanadas mm. that, we, that we grabbed, so mm -hmm. this literally is our first lunch. Mm -hmm. You did a nice job with the salad, just a light dressing, huh? Mm -hmm. I mean, oh my gosh, it's a thousand times better than having a cold. Yeah. No, <laughs> don't try a cold, guys. Mm -hmm. So, we're giving ourselves a day to kind of get settled in. You know, we like unpacked, we're having our first meal. Somebody had to come and fix something in the house um, that broke just before we arrived. Yeah. But basically, tomorrow the real work begins because we need to start finding people, laborers, I guess yeah. you would say, um, to help us out with the property. That's right. First off, we need to do a lot of clearing of the landscape because there is this one plant that grows here. It is called sarsamora, and it's like a blackberry that like grows shoots that like dig into the earth and then they spread and grow more shoots and more and more and they kind of take over and you know that scene in the Disney version of Sleeping Beauty where he's like fighting to like get to the castle and these crazy thorny plants are growing and he needs to save the princess. Okay, that's what Sarsamora looks like. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, basically, basically slaying uh, 
uh, it, it's it's amazing because you can you can obviously eat the berries, but yes. what it ends up doing is it sort of just starts choking out the rest of the, the vegetation mm -hmm. in the area. Mm -hmm. Vegeta vegetation, I should say. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we're going to be doing a lot of that. We'll just start by, by looking at the most sensitive areas in and around the, the houses and the hotels mm -hmm. and just seeing, like, what's kind of growing a little bit too close to, to the structures mm -hmm. and kind of work our way out from that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we've already got one lead. We're going to see if this person's available. But basically, it's a busy time. There's lots of people that do this type of work in the village, mm -hmm. but people are busy working. So we'll we'll see if we're able to get some people to come in a few days a week or what the situation is. Yeah. We'll let you know as it unfolds. Any kind of progress would be nice. Yes. Huh. Any progress is good progress. So cheers. Did we do a cheers? I can't Second remember. Second one. Cheers to that. Second cheers, and I'll actually try the wine this time. It's really nice. Mm. Smooth. Good stuff. Good stuff. Pepperoni. Oh. Pepperoni. <laughs> so cute. This is Pepperoni, Pepperino. Our new friend. We knew him from our last trip, but he came and found us yesterday while we were out walking, didn't you? Yes, you did. So it's coming with us. He's like, guys, no worries. I will lead the way. Good pepperoni. Muy bien pepperoni. Muy bien. Through the countryside we walk. Yes. The ah. pepperoni. Pepperoni is having a rest. He's yep. like, guys, oh, oh, it's time for belly rubs. Belly rubs, 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 belly Are you done, guys? No, we are not done. There is more. A dog is so sweet. It's now, <laughs> it's now followed us for officially all of our walks since we've been back here. <laughs> two out of two. And then it also was following us the last time we were here, like yeah. over two years ago. So it's a friend in waiting. Mm -hmm. Vamos, pepperoni. Vamos. Vamos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> He's like, I want to be in the shot. Oh, I want to be licking the flower. I lick oh. the flower. <laughs> I lick the lens. <laughs> oh, we're having a photo shoot with a dog. That's not even ours. And he was smelling the daisies. Yeah, he's great. He's great. going thank you <laughs> to warm up the house Just working in the in the room kind of in my own little world <laughs> over here yeah so we thought we would end today's video here by the fire well i'm warming up you're probably sweating well yeah, actually it's it's toast it's nice it's, it's a nice toasty, toasty feeling okay, yeah good, it was good. a little it wasn't chilly in my room but it's, it's more cozy out here for yeah. sure so 
Yeah. But yes, basically that was our first day. Aside from what we showed you, what we filmed, I also went around town in the afternoon, just like saying hello to different people we know, like neighbors, yeah. and friends, and you know. Reconnecting, kind reconnecting. of seeing what people are up to. Also, you know, you were getting in touch to see if there might be people who are willing to work. Yes, lots of asking around for laborers, for clearing the land. So I've got three different leads. I feel like that's a pretty good start. Hey, this first is full day. our first full day, so yes. it's a great start. Got I lots mean, of phone numbers. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're planning to, to go and, and actually film the condition of the place soon. Mm -hmm. We're going to mm -hmm. go get the tools, so like things are things are happening. Things are happening. We're not here to, to go like this. <laughs> Twiddle our thumbs. We're here to make some progress. So. No dilly-dallying. Yeah, no dilly-dallying. So, so, yeah, we are super excited about this. We hope you guys are too. Yeah. This is a new journey, um, but I think, I think you'll enjoy enjoy it if, if you stick around a little bit different from our usual travel videos this past decade but it's a very exciting new chapter well yeah life changes and yeah. um, of course we'll still create lots of travel content on this channel yes. but it's also kind of cool that the channel is expanding a little bit mm -hmm. maybe becoming a bit more versatile yeah as uh, as life changes so do yes. so do projects yes and um, I think this is gonna be really interesting because I think we're gonna try to film it really raw we'll show what doesn't go well yeah, so, you know, we're not just going to give you the highlight reel. Mm -hmm. We're going to show you, uh, you know. Yeah. And you know what? I feel like I, I try to be a very positive and optimistic person. And sometimes in the past, maybe I've just cut out the negative or the bad because it's like nobody wants to see that. Nobody mm -hmm. wants a downer. Um, but with this, we want to show you that it's probably not going to be easy and smooth sailing the whole way. Um, so we'll show you what it is so that if you have any dream projects, adventures that you want to dive into, you know, expect for there to be highs and lows along the way because that's normal. That's just yeah, life. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's really yeah. well said. So mm -hmm. yeah, that's the, the style we're going to go for. And yeah. Um, yeah, we'll let you know what's going good. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds so, good. So, so we're, we're overall positive. Yeah. But, but uh, yeah. And yeah. now we'll say a little ciao. Ciao, Cito. Bye, guys.